to everybody out there who worry about the R. Kelly situation, man. It's a serious situation. What I think people really need to do is use that situation to focus on what's going on right around you and and, and your kids and um, the uncle you're leaving them with who you think just playing all the wrestling and, and all that. Uh, I'm just saying. What R. Kelly talking about, this real conversation been going on in family for years. What they, what, they, what they saying R. Kelly did, you know? So what I'm saying, use that situation to, to make you look around you. Because you keep looking at R. Kelly, there's some stuff going on around you you don't even know about. So let that sizzle in your spirit. Huh? Yeah. It'll be, don't be so quick to judge. Be quick to budge your eyes and look around. Left to your right. Let that sizzle in your spirit, please. And let it marinate like neck bone juice. Huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I said Alderman did go to police, and that's the issue. Police have been here. The city building inspectors have been here as well, and no one has been able to get inside. Earlier this week, the city's building department got an anonymous 311 call that people were living inside, and there was also a club inside as well. From the outside, we could see colored strobe lights on the inside, and there's also a kitchen. The building is not zoned for any of that. Two people that work nearby R. Kelly's music studio that he rents here at 219 North Justine says there have been problems here for several years. Take a listen. The history with uh, R. Kelly being here, uh, at times employees here have seen uh, young women leaving out through the back door. After his last incident and they were cleaning house, there were not only all the garbage, but there were four mattresses back here. So if you wanted to kind of, you were asking me earlier about, you know, do we believe the allegations with him? Well, when you have mattresses here that you're throwing away, you know, you kind of have to put two and two together. He will just park the van right here, and all the girls will go with their head down and go inside the van. So they won't even look through the sides yeah. like, at all. How many girls are you talking about? We're talking about probably five, six girls. And I want to point out that that's a narrative that we've heard several times, that when people see these ladies or girls in public, that they never look around. They always have their heads down. Now, the legal counsel for the people that own this building released this partial statement. It says in part June of 2018, Midwest Commercial Funding initiated eviction proceedings against Kelly for non-payment of rent. And it has proceeded as scheduled. An eviction order has been obtained from the court on January 7th of 2019. We know our Kelly owes more than 100 $60,000 in back rent plus fees and city officials will go back to court at 11 today to get that order to gain access to the building. Now, R. Kelly's lawyer said in an interview with me earlier this week regarding the allegations, he said, define young. He maintains that his client is innocent. Live from the near west side, Tia Ewing, Fox 32 News.